Yo guys, Captain Banana here today with a another episode of Rush War. And if you saw my other episode, I got enough likes and comments to support me to do this another episode. And you know, I am happy to do this episode with you guys. I'm with my friend who is playing. Put, we're playing this game currently as I am. Um, so say hi, Captain Lozer. Hi, Captain Lozer. <laughs> if you're on my channel today, we're playing Rush War. It is a game sponsored by Freedom, and I don't think there's much to say. I'm usually not into these type of games, but it's actually legitimately pretty fun. fun. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. But anyone's on my channel, this is basically a real-time game where you, there's a lot of waiting and hours and stuff, and it's tiring. But basically, it's a real-time game, and you have to grow your civilization. And let me zoom out real quick. But you have to destroy all it. Well, not just just claim a lot of land so I'm currently surrounded by a lot of people because this is this game is growing pretty fast but this is my place this is the biggest out of all of these people yeah. and yeah it's because I'm OP but and I'm yeah. right 30 I mean not 30 <laughs> 94 or something like that but yeah so basically my place is called Eden hey, let me go see yours Where Eden, is it? Eden Legion and his place is called Aegis Legion or is it just yeah. Aegis yeah, my place is pretty far is because I use like this item called City Relocator. So put me in a random position far from anyone else because I'm pretty happy because when I was in my other place, everyone was literally surrounding me, which is pretty annoying. Yeah, so he's like way down here. I can't, I don't even, I can't even find you. Yeah, I'm pretty far. And as you saw in my first episode, I completed a lot of stuff. I upgraded my walls and you can see that there's many higher levels than you saw before. Probably saw level ones and like probably nothing yeah so right. if you're if you're on my channel make sure to go check out his i was in his video but um i just i lost that footage along with the ages footage some yeah. ages footage so yeah yeah basically. so currently right now um we're gonna give you some tips and tricks mostly i'm gonna give the tips and you know i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna be upgrading and i'm gonna show you around this beautiful game of rush war that just came out yeah and there's like how many people are there? There's Deal. 561. Yeah, but half of them are, half of them don't play. Yeah, and I am rank 92. I went down, gosh. Well, anyways, one of the tips I'm gonna show you guys today is um, a little bit that most of the people do not know, but for instance, in your tax, there is amount of percentage you could put in your city hall. So right now I have 30%, and the higher you the tax rate you put, the lower your um the lower your your health goes. The lower it is, the worse it is because like the the population becomes lower when that thing is lower. So yeah, yeah health thing. Yeah. So it's always good to put like probably 30% or probably 20, I guess, because if you put it too high, your city will not get that much. They people will not be happy. They will. Yeah, people will leave. Usually, when you um, when you get an alchemy school, you should get a military academy right. and an alchemy school right away, before you get like stables and like uh, you need to get an armory first to get the military academy. Yeah. And so your okay. priority would be armory, military academy, and alchemy school. Yeah, is because what's really nice about it is when you go to it, you could upgrade a whole lot of stuff. So, like it will help you much more like for instance you could upgrade your um your speed of attacking your economics like so it takes less intakes of your crops and all that stuff and for your um alchemy school it helps you produce more stuff like for instance you could get more silver production more iron production more lumber, and all that stuff farming construction yeah. Etc. Etc. So basically, you cannot get the military school without an armory and a alchemy school. Wait, do you need armory for the military? Yeah, you do need an armory. For yeah. The so to get the mil military academy, which is most important, you're gonna need the alchemy school and the armory. And one of the other things that you really need in this game is a cathedral, because cathedral is one of the things that completes most of your missions. When you do that, you choose a mascot. I choose the bull. I recommend the bull or the the. the the dough because they they're usually the best things people dough, choose yeah and make sure to be careful with your choices because once you choose them choose them it costs a lot of gold to change them back yes, and gold you cannot, is all if you abandon your mascot that's a very high risk that you're taking here is a cottage i have here and i'm up i'm currently upgrading it either you can wait 
20, 12 minutes, tw I said 20 minutes, 12 minutes, and it does go really high, like even five hours, it goes really high. So either you can wait the 12 minutes or you can speed it up using gold, which is like really important. Gold is like very key, but you can, you know, use trainees and everyone has a different type of, I guess, things. And I can't, I can't really explain it, but yes, you can speed up the real time Action, so, I guess, yeah. yeah. So, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. I gave you some tips and go check out this game. Links will be down below in the description. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you guys want me to continue this series. I hope this guys helps helps you. And yeah. peace out. Bye. Bye. Bye.